So now that we have been practicing our folds, it's time to start using the folds that we created to use them as a radial design. Remember, radial design is something that starts in the center and it radiates out symmetrically, both this horizontally and vertically. And if you were to spin it, it would be the same. So this obviously isn't glued down because I just moved it. Um, but I wanted you to see some of the options that you could use and how you can fold them and put them um, overlapping each other and use them within each other to create interesting shapes and designs. So what we're gonna start with first is you're all gonna have a black piece of paper. It is a perfect square. It's gonna be a 12 by 12 piece of paper because we use three by three squares and in origami we want everything to line up. And we're gonna fold this paper as our guidelines to help us stay on task on where we need to be lining things up. These folds are extremely important when you are ready to glue down your work. You need to make sure you are lining things up so that it is symmetrical. So when you take this black piece of paper, the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to fold it up in half. Now uh, mine's already obviously folded, but you bend it in half, make sure it lines up at the top before you press it down and swipe it with your finger. Then you're going to open it up, turn it, and do it again. Start at the bottom, bend it from the center, fold it up to the top, line it up, and press it down. That will give you the crease down the center here and going across, just like a plus sign or a cross. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the bottom corner to the top corner, from the bottom corner to the top corner. That is going to create our diagonal folding lines. So let's start in this bottom corner. It helps if you hold the paper down, you bend it up to the top corner, line it up, press it down, crease it, open it up, Hold down the opposite side, take the other bottom corner, bring it over to the top corner, and crease it down. So now you have this fold and this fold, the diagonal fold and the diagonal. So you have a big X and a crisscross. I actually went one step further, which taking the corners and folding it to the center. This helps because once you get further into your design, if you wanna line things up further away from the center, it just helps you stay on track. So I use my finger. Almost like our square fold that we showed you earlier with the smaller pieces of paper and then creased it. Just like that. Then we open it up. Now, it's going to flatten out eventually. I know it's hopping around. Normally what I do is I just flip it over so it stays a little bit more flat and as we're working, it'll lay more and more flat. So you're all going to start in the center and I do not want you to start gluing anything down right away because I want you to start just playing around with some of your options. Remember, with radial design, not only is the shape the same, but the color needs to be the same. I'm not going to take a blue hat fold here and then take a green one and do it there. That is not symmetrical because the colors are not the same. So what you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. Please keep that in mind. So green, sorry, you need to go away because blue was the color that I used. Now I am lining them up right on those diagonal folds that I made and right in the center. So I'm just kind of having them line up like that to see what that looks like. Remember, I'm not gluing anything down yet. I'm just looking at my possibilities. What I can do is on the vertical axis, I can fit those greens in 
like that. That would be something that I could possibly do. Another option I can do is I could take these greens and I could slide them halfway in to my blue to create a little bit more dimension on this space and maybe save this area for a kite triangle. I don't know. You honestly won't know until you explore different options and see what you like and honestly see what you don't like. You're gonna learn that you might like the kite triangles more than the square folds and you might use all of the kite triangles or you might really like the hat ones and decide that those are the ones that you want to use the best too. So that's why I really want you to take at least five minutes to kind of play around with these and see what shapes you prefer and what you think looks best with your work. Another thing I wanted to show you is that these kite ones, sorry, these are hat ones, when you put them together and you bump up the edges like that, they also create that square fold that we were making. So that's something that you can do or look at too, or if you wanted to fit in um, shapes on top of that, you can as well. If you wanted to start with this one and put it in the center, that would be fine and you would line it up that way as well too. So please take some time, play around with it, see what you like, and then when we feel a little bit more confident on what direction we're going in, we are going to use a glue bottle and we're going to put glue on the bottom side and then we're gonna press them down as we go. I actually like this a lot, so I think I might start with this one first and go from there.